Well, hello everyone. If I'm making this kind of video, I'm clearly not on in Connecticut right now. <laughs> That's right, I'm on Long Island for this weekend. And as a matter of fact, I'm heading to Jay's birthday party right now. But what I figured I'd do is, be, is um, it's been like, was it, over six years since I started the whole video series on this Route 110 project. And I thought, why not make another video on this, just for memory's sake. Now I'm starting at the light set that um, is further down from my normal starting location, but you already you already may notice uh, some differences. Uh, this light set was actually replaced in 2015, and um, just to the left of the uh, of the pole right there, uh, the, um, about, I think about a year later, um, the mobile gas station actually closed, and um, a, Char a Charles Schwab, I think that's how you say it, took its place. And I just thought maybe I'd take you down this road again. And just to show you some things. Uh, the reason why I'm on Long Island is actually because we had some stuff at the Long Island house done. Uh, the cabana was opened back up, water turned back on, sprinkler system, the pools opened back up. So I was here for all that to make sure it all goes well. And I figured while I'm here, let's do a little memory video here. Now I am going to cover some more stretches that I did not cover on YouTube videos, but a couple of individual videos for a couple of other people. So where I normally make my left turn towards the end, I'm going to go straight this time for those of you who may remember this video series. And yeah, we'll just have a look along and see how things are. Some things um, you will see have changed since I made the video series, like this light set, but there's some other things that you'll see as well. And I'll show, them, I'll show you when I come up to them. Alrighty. A little bit of a bump in the road there. Not too bad, though. So, just think, I was... I think 23 going on 24 when I started the whole video series on this, and now I'm 30, so quite an amount of time has gone by, huh? And uh, just cool to do something like this again. I know my the last video I did on this was when the bridge was all finished, and that was in 2014, so it's been a while. And now you, you may remember these light sets, I had mentioned that these light sets were getting replaced in 2013, and um, here they are now, and they're still in very good shape. So that's always good. Oh, uh, Wall Woodman Mall is right to my left. That hasn't really changed much. It's still pretty much the same uh, yuppie place it's been since about, I don't know, maybe 1999 when they did the whole renovation originally. <clears throat> and you will see some differences uh, before we come up to, come, come up to the bridge. <clears throat> and it's just... Uh, Pretty awesome that I was able to make a video on this again, and uh, the weather is pretty nice today, so I'm happy about that. Nice and sunny. Pretty humid out today, though, so I got the air conditioning on at the moment. Not much has changed around here. Still pretty much the same since the last time I made a video on this part of the road. I mean, some stores may have changed um, over the years, but uh, the, um, what do you call it, uh, the road itself and these light sets, still the same. At least on this part of the road. Yeah, we have, we have a car from Massachusetts in front of me. That's pretty interesting. And, uh... Yeah, not much else to say at the moment. I'll make this yellow light. And, um... I got some bikers out today. Pretty good weather for that kind of stuff. I mean, it is humid today, but I know I'm sure bikers don't want to be out when it's like, you know, 20 degrees outside. And I'm just happy that, you know, like I said, it's sunny outside when I'm making this video. Um, the, uh, the trees are all green, you know. I like making videos when the weather is like that. And it just happened to work out that way, so it's pretty good. <laughs> Now coming up here, there's going to be some changes from the last videos I did on this. I called it the light set drainage area because they were replacing the light sets here. And uh, I actually made videos on that for you guys. And they did a ton of drainage work in the median area. So um, that, that, that's what you'll notice as soon as we pass this light set that we're coming up to right now. And they put up an, another new road sign for the LIE and the, the Northern State Parkway. And uh, I don't know what that guy's doing, but I'm going to go ahead of him. They creep up and you don't know what they're going to do. Very risky move sometimes. <laughs> and like I said, humid day today, so air conditioning is going. 
But temperature gauge, everything else looks perfect. And my car is nearing 100,000 miles. It's currently at 99,940. So that's pretty cool. Just waiting for the green light here. Okay, and once we pass this light set, here's all the new stuff. There's a whole new uh, grass median. Um, the asphalt has aged a little bit because it's it's uh, four years old now, but still looks pretty good. Um, there's one of the new light sets right there. Um, this does have the back plates. I mentioned in the video they didn't put them on, but that's because they just didn't get to it yet. So these do have those uh, those back plates with the yellow tape on them. And like I said, these back plates were definitely redesigned, I think, within 2013 because originally when they put them up, the yellow tape eventually just started coming off after like a couple of months. But, but uh, once again, these li this light set has been here since 2014, and um, the back plates still look perfect. So they definitely did something different with them good that they it's always good that when a product isn't isn't good they actually fix it you know what i'm saying it's good when people do stuff like that got this big truck on my right here he's probably going to the lie he can't go on the parkway as this is all part of the light set drainage area that blade zero knows about remember how many videos i made for you man on this whole thing that was really fun to do Definitely kept me occupied in 2014, I guess you could say. <laughs> and here's the last uh, newer light set. Okay. Now we're coming up to the familiar areas um, you probably recognize from, uh, from my video series. You can see um, traffic up on the Northern State Parkway. And the uh, bridge is still in very good shape and everything. This light set right here is from 2012. Maybe you remember that. It could have been 2011, actually. Maybe like late 2011, early 2012. And here's the bridge. Very familiar webs uh, website. Wow, very familiar site, rather. <laughs> and um, here's, remember, the permanent light set, I called that. Here it is, still in good shape. And this time we're going to go straight instead of turn left because these were the other areas I wanted to show um, that a couple of other people have seen. What I'm going to show you past this light set was not on YouTube. It was a... Uh, it was, uh, um, um, what I'm trying to say here, uh, videos I made outside of YouTube for a couple of people. And I'm sure they'd like to see how it looks all now that it's all finished. Where we're, where we're coming up to now is what I call the second drainage area because that was the second one that was started, I believe, in March of 2014. And past that's going to be the original drainage area. I called it original because I didn't know they, they were going to do more than just that one area. So I come up with all these fancy names. So this is the second drainage area right now. All finished, three lanes now. There's all the plants on the on the new median. All looks good. This light set up here I called light set one for the whole area. <laughs> I come with all these names. This light set was replaced in I think February of 2014. A lot of stuff happened within that year. But yeah, a lot of lanes now. And here's the original drainage area. All these awesome plants on the new median. Three lanes. Beautiful stuff. And this was all part of the, 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 the bridge over the expressway, the, the Northern State Parkway bridge that I recorded. It was one huge project that was spanned out through a number of years. Wow, the trees look fantastic in the median. And here's light set two. Still awesome as always. Back plates and everything. And, you know, just for show, I think I'll go over the bridge over the expressway because you know this uh this was this was the original part of the project was this bridge right here it was started in 2009 i remember going underneath the bridge and seeing all, all the construction done when i was going to college to and from and um it was finished in 2011 then let's see yeah i think it was 2011 they started really working on the parkway bridge and then it went to the drainage areas and that was the whole project so uh, like i said it was one huge project done a lot of money, but it came out good, and that's what's important, especially when tax money is involved, right? You hope your tax money is going to something good. The traffic on here is much better than it used to be. And here's the bridge over the expressway. And 
And these light sets have what I call delayed left turns, meaning the, the left turn signal turns green later on, and then the whole light set goes red. That's what I call a delayed left turn. And there we go, off the bridge. All right, guys, well, there you go. A little Route 110 memory for you guys. Glad I did it and thought the number of years after I started this whole thing, it was good to take a visit of it once again. And for those of you who watched the project back when, hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane, as it says, okay? So as usual, guys, thank you very much for watching and take care.